Rain lashed against the diner window, blurring the neon glow of the open sign. Inside, Amelia huddled in a red vinyl booth, nursing a lukewarm coffee. The bell above the door jingled, and a figure shrouded in a long, rain-soaked coat entered. Amelia barely looked up, expecting another weary traveler seeking refuge from the storm. But a soft thud on the table next to her made her glance over. The figure threw back the hood, revealing a face both familiar and unsettling. Ethereal blue eyes, startlingly bright even in the dim diner, met Amelia's. Mind if I join you, the figure asked, its voice soft, melodic, yet oddly metallic. Amelia hesitated. Sure, she mumbled, scooting further into the booth. The figure slid in, steam rising from its coat. It shed the garment, revealing an outfit unlike anything Amelia had ever seen, a sleek, form-fitting suit that shimmered faintly. You look, different, Amelia finally choked out. The figure chuckled, a sound like wind chimes. Different, yes. But not entirely alien, I hope. It reached out, a hand emerging from the sleeve. It looked human, with slender fingers and smooth skin, except for a faint, swirling pattern etched on the palm. This? Amelia asked, staring at the mark. A minor disguise malfunction, it said, flexing its hand. Let's just say I borrowed a form you'd find, relatable. A sudden realization dawned on Amelia. Wait, are you? The figure smiled, a sad, knowing curve of its lips. From the future, yes. Farther than you can imagine. And not quite what you might expect. Amelia's mind reeled. Time travel? Aliens? Yet, the figure's human-like form, the way it spoke, the way it held its coffee mug, a simple ceramic mug, chipped and worn, it all felt strangely human. You're, one of us. Amelia whispered, the words tasting foreign on her tongue. In a way, it said. Evolution, my dear, is a funny thing. We're not so different, you and I, different bodies, perhaps, but the same core. The same spark of curiosity, the same yearning for connection. Silence settled between them, punctuated only by the drumming rain. Amelia felt a strange sense of calm wash over her. This futuristic being, this supposed alien, wasn't a monster from a sci-fi movie. It was lonely, seeking understanding, just like her. So, why are you here? Amelia finally asked. To observe, the figure said. To learn. And perhaps, to warn. The future, it's not set in stone. But there are choices you can make, as a species, that will determine your path. Their conversation stretched late into the night. The figure spoke of a future filled with both wonder and peril, of humanity's potential for greatness and its capacity for self-destruction. As dawn broke, casting a pale light through the window, the figure rose. Thank you, it said, its voice sincere. For listening, for not running screaming. It extended its hand, the swirling mark on its palm now a faint shimmer. Amelia took it, the touch cool and strangely comforting. Will I see you again, she asked, a pang of loss already settling in her chest. The figure smiled. Perhaps. But remember, the future is yours to shape. Make it a good one. With that, it turned and walked out into the rising sun, leaving Amelia alone in the diner booth, forever changed by the encounter with the alien who was, in essence, a reflection of humanity itself.